Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to another show of Happy Liverpool Fan Day. I mean, sorry, it is. Um, what, what is the what is the day today? It is um, the Green Day. What's the Green Day of Ireland? Saint Pat Saint Patrick's Saint Patrick's Day. Saint Patrick's Day. Day. Saint Patrick's Day. Happy Saint Patrick's Day to everybody celebrating all over the world, especially those who are in Ireland. In Ireland, yes, to all the leprechauns out there celebrating, drinking their Guinness. Enjoy the day. I mean, it is a fantastic day. Enjoy the day with Liverpool fans. Uh, we got to put that out there. Wonga Denga, you were loud the other day. Um, I wasn't that what, loud. You were pretty loud. I mean, you were loud enough. I think that's that's what matters. Like, if we're having a conversation and your neighbors were eavesdropping, they would have heard you. That's how loud you were, I think. Am I right, Silo? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Wonga and Sam were the loudest guys on the show that day. Suspect. <laughs> <laughs> It's just facts, guys. It's Wonga facts. and it Sam were the, were the loudest guys on the show. So, Wonga, what do you have to say for yourself? Please face the music. Please face the music. What do you have to have? Wait, 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 Celo. Celo, before we face the music, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Wonga Denga, the Denganator, in the top corner over there. In the bottom corner, we've got Celo Lolo Kale, a.k.a. Oh, Captain Celo Maguire at the bottom. He's got his armband there. You want to show people your armband? No, nah, I'm not wearing it today, guys. Not wearing For those it. of just, you who watched just... on Tuesday, though, it is a bit of an announcement because if you did watch on Tuesday, you'll notice or you would have noticed that Silo was hosting the show. And going forward, our captain is going to be hosting the cooldowns every Tuesday. So, so Silo, so congratulations Tuesday, on the promotion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every Tuesday, every Tuesday, I'll be wearing the captain's armband. So tonight, it's in Claudia's <laughs> hand. Take Claudia. That's what you to wear tonight. Thanks. Thank you, Silo. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wish I had that on my side because then I would have totally done that. Okay. <laughs> it would have been, been so cool if they actually, people would be like, what's going on, guys? Yeah, like, yeah, it's like throwing stuff through the, through the through the bloody screen, which is pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah. It's been like a, a Pepsi TikTok ad. But yeah, yeah, let's, let's, I mean, it is you in focus here, Captain Maguire. So let's, let's talk about this one. I mean, you oh, thought they would have gotten a result. I said I did not see it happening. Wonga, what did you... you I can't remember what you said. You, you said United no, won, didn't you? you said United would win. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I thought I thought that result would have been United's 1-0 for United. Yeah. And it should have been, to be honest with you. I was watching yeah, the, the, way game. We, the way we, The way we started was, 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 was quite good, you know? I think we started the game quite well. We just didn't create as many chances as we should have. We created some chances. That chance from... Um, Ilanga that uh, Bruno crossed uh, and then it hit it hit Oblak's head. It, he didn't save it. He, it hit his head. I thought we had an opportunity to, to 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 get a goal in that first half. But you know, Atletico always looked good on the on the on the break. They they their passing was quite uh, good. I think they also did a a great job by having a Griezmann and a uh, Jao Felix starting the game because they're quite good in, in retaining the ball uh, when they're going forward. And Renan Lodi. Um, in the first leg was was a menace, and then he was a menace again uh, in this game at, at left wing back. So yeah, but credit to Atletico, they they pulled a, 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 another smash and grab. What they did last last season against Liverpool, basically uh, copy and paste, they did the same to Man United. Mm. And then Simeone was saying some loud things as well, saying you see Ronaldo, he only did things when he had service. Without service, he does nothing. But I was like, isn't that the same for anyone really? Without service, what are you meant to do? <laughs> Run the ball from the back of your own goal and go score all the way. I was like, "What a ridiculous comment!" Cholo, Cholo is Cholo is 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 Argentinian. Um, I think he he obviously likes Lionel Messi more, so I think he'll always take jabs at Ronaldo because Ronaldo's a, a Real Madrid, uh, former Real Madrid player, uh, and also Cholo is Argentinian. So I think he obviously favors uh, the, the the shorter man from 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 uh, Rosario. Mm. I mean, I think uh, is is Messi not more Catalonian than he is Argentine anyway? So that's just something. Also, shout out Pums and Louis. Thank you for joining us. Uh, how's, it, how's, it, how's it, Pums? How's it, Louis? How are you guys doing? 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 A very nervous City fan. You should be nervous, Louis. You should be nervous because Wanga will tell you. He will tell you what happens when you get loud and you get proud. So maybe that's the right approach from all City fans. Feel a little bit nervous and you might finish this winning here. Sam, thank you for joining us. If you are in the comments and you are watching us, don't be afraid to join your Pumses and your Louis and your Sams, the extended member of the Golan family in the comment section. Yes, Wonga. You know, looking at the... That game, I mean, oh, the, the United Sam, game. Sam is coming in hot again. What are you saying? Losing Champions League. Is, losing in is, Champions is, League position Sam, to Arsenal. Is Sam, is Sam not embarrassed? Is Sam not embarrassed about Arsenal 
and about the, all the noises Mickey about Arsenal. But okay, we'll touch on that soon. But yeah, I guess I guess I, I'm I'm in the firing line for now. But yeah, Wonga, yeah, wait, wait, yeah, Wonga, yeah, so, touch on this game, touch on this game, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, no, I was saying that. Um, look, I watched the game and I felt that I mean, like like Silo was saying, Alanga should have scored. Um, I don't know, I don't know if Silo, you felt the same about it, but I know Reknik was complaining about the referee. Um, and people were like, yeah, now obviously he's lost and it looks like an excuse. Yeah, um, but when I looked at the referee, I was also, I don't like, my man, he was letting things fly. Like everything. Yeah. He was letting everything fly. The guys were saying, no, we like this sort of thing. You know, the commentators, when I said, no, not the guys, the commentators yeah. were saying, no, but again, we like this thing Madrid. flowing. Yo, 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 yo. But, you can't let that happen because yes, that's how they because play. They just guys, exactly. you, cook you and they get under your skin. They worse than a wart. But that's the worst are, thing is, they? The worst thing is that who's that? that uh, I forget his name now. Is it Lorenzo, the right back? He was. There was a time he when he pushed got, someone. Like he never got a yellow card. He never got a yellow he card. Clearly yeah. pushed him. And he never, yeah, he never got a yellow card. Guess what? He does it again. Guess what? Doesn't get a yellow card for it. So it's like, oh wow! I get, then he gives an opportunity to do it again. You know, and for me, that I I, I don't know. I, I I didn't agree with the way that ref ref the game. You should have you should have gave yellow cards. You should have stopped that and, the the first the second time you you nail it. You know, but. He just for me it was just like a thing of ah it's a free for all. Then he did give a yellow card. I can't remember who who kicked someone uh, on per- someone one of the players. I don't know if it was let to go player or someone, but obviously they called it a professional foul. But I'm like, geez, let to go doing it the whole way. It was it was really for me it was inconsistent. It, it, the people would say it was consistent, yeah. but it, it yeah. was and inconsistent. There was a, and there was a, and there was, a, there was there was two fouls that uh, before the goal. There was two fouls yes. for the goal. So yeah, that that, that ref wasn't great, uh, but I no. think also. As a as a as as a team, you should be uh, not focusing on the ref. You know, it would have been different, I guess. If yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you still have ninety minutes to score a goal. You know, yeah. Uh, yes, the, the, the 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 ref the ref didn't help, but still, you still need to score your uh, score. Like the, the way we started was amazing. You know, we yeah, had the energy, we had the home crowd. The home crowd was amazing. It was 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 shouting from the rooftops. You know, there was just this energy, this vibe at Old Trafford. And that was the I felt the opportunity to take advantage. And that chance that Ilanga had, if that went through, man, I think we would have won three 0 three 0 easily in yeah. the game. Because you're gonna force Atletico to actually now start attacking. Football's a game of fine margins. Football's yeah. a, a game of fine fine margins. You know, you you miss your 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 chances and so on and so forth, and then they score. And yeah, some of our players I think they weren't on their game in terms of they were focused too much on 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 having a screaming match with the referee. Uh, Bruno Fernandes was, was you know, focused on, like, screaming at the ref. Ah, you know what I mean? Just try to focus on your game. Like, let's get back into the game instead of screaming, you know? And there's an interesting stat. Guys, in the last 13 minutes, the ball was in play for 11 minutes only. 11 minutes, guys. 11 minutes, the ball was in play for the last 13 minutes. So that means the ball sure. was not in play for, for 19 minutes, guys. The ball was either was a, a foul or was out That's for how a, they play. That's what they do. That's how they set up. Out they for, try and... out for, out for a, a throw in, you know me, so it's crazy, guys. Disrupt, they disrupt any flow, any momentum. They keep a clean sheet. And also, you know what is interesting? There was no away goal. Could you imagine a away goal still counted? You were definitely screwed then. I mean, just with the one goal they can do. It. And like I told you, with Oblak, mm. Oblak in goals, that team, they've, they've always got a chance. In tournament football, with that side and Oblak in goals, there's always a chance, even though that ball smacked him in the face. Um, but we might as well. I do want to say one last thing. Wonga, I think, you, can, you please, can you please read Sam's comment there, please, Wonga? Okay, no more supporting Arsenal. I give up. Wonga, I think it's time for us to understand and support bigger and better clubs. I don't mean United. Though. Ah, Sam, we fourth. I mean, come on, man. We we still fourth. We still fourth, man. It's not. It's not oh, the end of the world. It's not all doom and gloom, guys. Uh, yeah, well, it's not all doom before and gloom. we Wonga, before we touch on that one, let's let's just touch on the on the sort of the Champions League draw and the teams that are left over in the Champions League. Obviously, three out of the four. It's almost at this point, if you're an English side not making it through to the last 16, uh, you're kind of the worst of the bunch because three out of four did qualify. It just shows you the strength of the English league at the moment. But who are your favorites, gents? Well, Who's taking this three, Champions but League? There's, but there's three Spanish teams as well. Yeah. So how does, how does this draw work? Does everyone get to get drawn with anyone here? Anyone, yeah. anyone can anyone. play anyone. anyone can oh, play so, anyone. so, so, UEFA are gonna spice it up like they did the last one. <laughs> we're gonna spice it up 100%. They're gonna, play, they're gonna play, they're gonna play, they're gonna play, they're gonna play hot and cold balls again. I, I know they're gonna play hot, we, and, we, hot and cold balls. We must balls actually guess, we must guess so, what's guys, gonna so happen. Guys, so, okay, guys, <laughs> yeah, so let's guess. Uh, Man, it, yeah. Man City is gonna get Villarreal or Benfica or Liverpool, right? 
Why would no, Man City no, no, not no. get Liverpool? No, they're, they're like no, that. no. I think I think I think we'll have a Real Madrid Liverpool. Real Madrid now. Liverpool. Uh, I don't know. See, that's the one. What I do they like. want? What do they want Real Madrid to go in the final? In no, the final, doesn't need to be like they, they, there's no. What do they want? A Man City Liverpool final. They, they, want want Man City, mm. they want Man City to be in the final. Yes, they, they would want a Man City Liverpool final, definitely. Or so those guys have been City, opposite ends. Or 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 in or a Bay, or Bayern being in the final as well. So Bayern like, Real, but, true. Bayern yeah. Real Madrid. Bayern Real Madrid. Yeah, that's a match they would like. Yeah, yeah. Bayern versus Liverpool. But they don't Bayern want Atletico. They don't want Atletico to go past this stage. So I think they will, they will give Bayern and they will play. Atletico will play Bayern because they don't want Atletico to go further. Okay. Mm. okay. Okay. saying uh, Sam saying Bayern versus Liverpool. How about that? Look, I'm not scared of Bayern. The side I am scared of. It's just it's one of those things. It's like when a, a younger brother takes on a bigger brother as Real Madrid. Doesn't matter who they've got there. The bigger brother will always be the bigger brother, <laughs> and flex their their muscles. So that's the one side I am scared of there. So Benfica play Man City. Benfica gets yeah. Man City. Benfica yeah. Villarreal gets Man City. Yeah. yeah Benfica. Yeah, Man yeah. City always gets easy draws, guys. <laughs> Those guys really I can't games. wait to see really this thing pop games. up. <laughs> they only play tough games until the semi final. That's semi final is only where, uh, only place where Man City plays easy games. Remember there was a year where they played they played Leon, I think. They played mm. Leon and they lost and then they lost to Leon. You know? So Man City always yes. gets easier draws, not easy, easier. So but who are you guys backing here? Who are you backing? Which side? Or I say if you gotta pick two sides in terms of I'm gonna say the side outright you think is definitely gonna win. And then the sort of understudy that you're like, okay, if they don't win, this is the team that could possibly take it after them. Oh, it's difficult to say. I mean, I, I, I didn't think Real Madrid would make it this far after their first leg performance against PSG. And then they showed that, yes, it's like boy. I think, I think, I think, off. I think, I think, I think, I'm just, I'm just going to say the three, the three favorites um, is, is, oof, is Man City, Bayern and Liverpool. Uh, yeah, I'd say those are the three favorites, but just don't count out Real Madrid. So, the four, you're yeah. not even considering Chelsea there or Atletico. No, not Atletico. Who's... Man. Come on, okay. Oh, right. yeah, well, Atletico. Atletico. Sam saying Benfica winning against Ajax. Who would have seen that coming? That's also true. Your future possible United manager getting taught, taught a lesson there by the, the Portuguese team. Yeah, just because it's your Portuguese team. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay. yeah. Pum's saying Liverpool Pum, that's a good shot I like you Pum's yeah there we go City versus Bayern Liverpool versus Real Ish. that would be nice that would be nice that would be nice yeah. Villarreal Villarreal Benfica Chelsea would be licking their lips I can see and sort of that happening huh? but, yeah, but, then, but, 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 but I guarantee you Benfica and Villarreal get tough teams they're going to cancel them now yeah, they won't get each other. They won't get, they won't get each other. Because if they yeah, get each other, that's, that's a nice draw. If, that's, if they get each other, that's a nice draw. I mean, figure yeah, out these Villarreal, that's a, nice, that's a nice draw for both of them. They yes. uh, you know, they'll be quite happy with that, I think, if they get each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but we'll, 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 we'll be hearing a lot of good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> they're going to cancel those two now. Guys, he, he pulled off an upset. He pulled off a huge upset. He beat uh, 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 Juventus 3 0 in Turin. Yeah, he in punished Turin. them. They punished them. That's, that's that's quite impressive from from mm. Emery. I think that Emery was not given enough uh, time at Arsenal. Emery's Whoa. a good coach. <laughs> Emery... Any more time would have been would have been an Everton situation, bro. <laughs> no, but, no, but, but no, no, never, no. He, did, he was never below what Arteta's taking you guys. Arteta's been taking you guys to ninth. He's never. But then he took us back up. Ninth. Yeah, he took us back up. Same no, season. No, but, but but good evening, guys. Is a, is a, uh, he took you to the Europa League final, guys? Yeah, true, true. Yeah. Come but on, that's, that's the, he likes the Europa League, but the league was dicey, man. I, I yes, would like to win. He's against... Mr. Europa League. He's Mr. Europa, Europa League. We all know he's Mr. Europa League, but still, guys, I think he should have been given more time. No. Is, is, have you seen they, they form in the league? You, you, you. No, 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 no. There's, on, there's something happening there with him that I think it's better if he sort of the problem there at Villarreal than we, what, we what, what, rather what, than what, us what, waiting for it. But they, they seventh in La Liga. Come on. They only... Six points behind number four. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah, the league is also this season, but, uh, question, I, I don't anyone know. Fancying, uh, anyone fancying it? Let's go in the semis. Yeah. I mean, there's always it depends on the draw. I think it's always a possibility. I think ideally, I think we're all saying 
if uh, Real Madrid, Liverpool, City, and Bayern avoid each other, then you got real spicy sort of semifinals coming away. Pum saying Atletico needs to get cancelled. Emre win, can win cups. Yeah, they, they will. They were gonna. They see Atletico. You see Atletico, uh, Villarreal, and what's the other team? You said Benfica. They're gonna try to cancel those teams in the beginning. They're gonna try to cancel them in the beginning. This this next draw. You watch the teams they get drawn against. Mm. Mm. All right. Watch the teams they get drawn against. See, Celo's obviously energy levels are down because they they obviously down. Yeah, knocked out. Knocked out. So Come he's on, he's yes, a bit guys. sad. Wong is just uh, happy we, as we, it is. We must have find that energy, but, tell you. We must have find energy for your birthday, Jets. Yeah. Ah, it was Celo's birthday, everyone. If you're in the comments, oh, yeah, hey. birthday, congratulations, <laughs> Celo. That's what you should be happy. Also, blame yeah. your manager there for not delivering a, a victory on your birthday. That's poor form. That fax clearly didn't make it through to. Guys, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate what they did to me, man. Like guys, I can't, I can't be so, I can't be in a good, good mood because my birthday. And then my, okay, my United already took me into my birthday in a bad mood because we played the day before my birthday. And yeah, I, I, I after the game, I had a, I had two shots of Jaeger before going to bed, guys. And I woke up, <laughs> and, I woke, and I woke up with shots because I remembered that my United lost. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's a bit sad. All right, now let's move on for something that's not so sad. Uh, Wonga Dinga, the cop want to let you know something. What, what do you think the cop wants to tell you? Ah, See, si, senor, give the ball to Bobby and he will score. There's Such something fortune, that the man. cop wants you to know. The best in the world is who's that, Wonga? Who's the best in the world? Who's the best in the world? Come on, tell tell everyone there. Tell everyone there. You saw it. You saw it yesterday. He came off the bench. Nah. And sealed the game. Sealed the game. Guys, guys. Jota, nah, Jota, such fortune. Jota, 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 Jota only knows one thing in football, guys, and that's to score against Arsenal. Seven goals. Also, seven games. Near post. Ramsdale. Arsenal. Yeah, the but angle is so. That was the angle no, no, is so hang on, tight. Hang on. You know, I thought about that. I thought about that. And obviously, no, everyone's going to say Ramsdale. No, no, no. Everyone's going to say Ramsdale. I knew it. it. No, that was Ramsdale. <laughs> no, Ramsdale. But I want you. It, I want you. But I want you to go through a highlight reel of Jota's goals. And yes. after after the sort of conversation when they asked him, they said, "Was that intentional?" What Jota does really well, he he doesn't strike the ball as cleanly as ever. He's not going to put this thing top corner, top corner. But what he does is he catches the keeper off guard all the time because of how quickly he puts it and where he puts it. Okay. So if, if I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just no. see, see how he strikes the ball. When you're gonna, this guy, he's he human, catches, bro. He catches, you're making this catches. guy sound like he's Iron Man or you, something. This guy's human. Know. I mean, you know, this guy. This guy, Jota. Ah, nah, nah. That was Ramsdale. No, no, I'm, I mean, that no. Was you're not. Are you not listening to what I'm saying, though? I'm saying Jota doesn't strike the ball cleanly often. If you see the goals, what he has though is he's got like this instinct in terms of how when he strikes it, he catches them off guard because of how he hits it. And he says after the interview, they asked him. They said, "Was that intentional to go for the post?" His answer was, "He knew the keeper would have second guessed, thinking he's going to come across the keep uh, the goal, thinking." It's going to be played as a cross ball, so he went for the near post. So I'm not, I'm not defending Rams on any deal, yes. but I'm saying if you look at Jota in terms of how he goes about his way, that's his strength. You didn't see him in the whole game, and then he did that, and then he came off. That's what he adds to the team. There's always that goal threat in him because of how he takes his goals and when he takes his goals. So that's all I'm saying. I, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, no, I think Ramsdale. I mean, he's also a bit far out, but I mean, look, the guys, he, he saved many, I can't complain, he saved many other shots as well. Um, but yeah, he's also probably kicking himself and saying he should have kept that out, um, mm. for sure. And it would have kept us in the game. I mean, they got very, very fortunate. And and, and that's what I, I did say, we did say it on um, on, on, on Tuesday that mm-hmm. the, these guys were going to, they were going to be too clever. And like I said, it was, like I said, it was the last guy who punished, uh, who punished, uh, who punished Liverpool. Um, off the mistake, and we ended up scoring. And and it was um, and it was yeah. I see Pumi saying uh, Thiago Jota, but he almost cocked up. He almost cocked up. He uh, with, okay, Wonga. You see, he gave you a nice back pass. Up. We didn't even start Salo. We gave you every opportunity to feed that cockiness into your Arsenal side, and you still couldn't take it. I don't know what you guys were doing there. Yeah? No, and, no, and no. We're, and we're playing at home, so there's even more confidence because it's tougher to win at Anfield. They didn't take the opportunities. I mean, that's that's the only thing about it. Um, that's the only thing we they, that 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 was coming. That was coming. That one where 
uh, Thiago's back pass. That that was always coming. We said it on Tuesday, and I think even Arsenal expecting it. But again, they didn't punish them. And you know, there's always a goal in Liverpool. And yeah, then we ended up being a, a goal down. I think that demoralised them, and then they got the second one. And yes, it's now you're not going to hear the end of it. So uh, it is what it is. Um, they get closer to guys, Man is, City. Is, is Martin Tyler in the studio again tonight, guys? <laughs> it's not me, is it? <laughs> it's not me. But uh, but yeah, I think yes, it's, it was disappointing. I can't lie. Very frustrated. Very, very, very frustrated that we, we didn't get uh, a result of that one. Or just at least slow down Liverpool's hopes. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it is what it is. But yeah, we top, top four. No, that, no, that's no, all good. Top is, four, top four. You know, I mean, there was that chance, right? You had that chance, Mr. Mr. Odegaard. Odegaard the back yeah, pass. Martin, yeah. Martin and Odegaard, you, yeah. you asked the question on Tuesday, Celo, who would you rather take, an Edison or you take an Allison? And one thing, I think you saw it in that moment, but that, he does that week in, week out. And, mm. you know, we, we play that sort of high line, so there's always an opportunity where he's one-on-one with the, 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 the forward. But he's very good at able to, like, force the striker into having the shot early or forcing him down away. And then obviously, in this case, it went his, in his favor. But mm. if, it was, if it was lucky and it was fortunate, I would say, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm. was, but he does that week in, week mm. out, Allison. He's really good at no, forcing He's like, very good at it. Very good at it. Makes himself very big. Um, like you think you got a chance to probably sneak it past him, but listen, at the end of the day, it gets here, he just you know does that, and then boom, big, big ass shoulder, uh, and then it goes over the bar. I think, yeah, that that he's unmatched with. Um, you literally, as you said, he, forces, he forces the pressure on the, on the player to, sh- to take the shot early, uh, instead of trying to keep their composure, you know. So, I think, yeah, he's definitely, uh, <laughs> Still take can, can you please read what Pumps is saying there? But why is that? It's not because of this thing, because I don't have the... I don't know, but... I don't know. Claudio Claudio sounds Christmas. like Martin Taylor during the Gary Neville podcast. <laughs> no, guys, could we just, we just hear this? <sighs> it's because I don't have... Look there, look there. No, you know what it could be, Claudio? It could be your wire oh, you, touching... Oh, you don't, you don't, oh, you it could don't be your wire the, touching this. You don't have this thing. Oh, it's it could be wire touching the, the, Oh, you don't have the, no. the, soft, the soft thing yet? No, the thing, the popper. Oh, oh. 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 Call me Martin, call me Martin Tyler, or call me Darth Vader. Either or will oh, suffice my show. So Martin Tyler's fine. I'm good. I'm all right with that. Thank but, you, Bums, right. for being it's, so it's honest. Martin Tyler, man. Because that's what Martin Tyler was doing in the Euros, guys. That guy was out of bed so many times. He was commentating. He was saying, he was saying, <laughs> Georgia's the ball. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> but also, but just going back to, to the Arsenal Liverpool game, I mean, Wonga Denga. We, we spoke about Martinelli and what he would do. And I think he was your, your bright light yeah. on the other day. Yeah. He was causing all the havoc. We knew Trent was going to struggle. And I think uh, Sam's already called it out just saying Trent having loads of troubles. We, we called that up front. I think what you mm. can see, if, if I was an Arsenal fan, I'd be very happy overall with the performance. All in all, they just got taken advantage of a side that's in, the, in a better way, better squad, better sort of stages, in the latter stages of where they're meant to be as a club. And Arsenal reminds me of sort of what a, a Liverpool was, and I've said this previously under Brendan Rodgers in that sort of development yeah. phase. A lot of potential, a lot of good young talent, but lacking the quality and seniority in the final third. I mean, you're leaning on a player like Lacazette. You didn't have the worst first half, but he's not as clinical as if you're going to compare him to the Liverpool players that we have up front. And that was the difference in the day. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you in terms of the development phase. But uh, yeah, I think in terms like Liverpool is very different. I say Liverpool is very yeah different because yeah they had those um, <laughs> those guys up front. Uh, and funny enough, I was just watching a few clips of like Steven Jordan, Fernando Torres, um, I'm linking up. But yeah, I mean they had the uh, the Luis Suarez and uh, and uh, what's it and the Sterling and a Sturridge, and yes, they were they were tremendous up front. Um, but again, it wasn't enough for them to to win the league. Um, but Arsenal, we we competing for fourth. I mean, now we we know we're near those. Um, <laughs> we know we're near the the guys in the top uh, the top top two the top two teams. But to be um, fair, though, to be fair, I think I think there's the top two teams. There's that's Chelsea. Jason. <laughs> uh, I, I like I like that comment. Jason saying, "Sorry, Wonga, it's, it's not personal; it's just business." And he did no, say but, that. But, but but I think I think you need to include Chelsea in the top three conversation. You know you know why I wanted to call it, call it a top three because Chelsea's uh, performances against the teams um, 
that are above them against uh, Liverpool and, and 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 Man City. It's 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 very consistent. It's a very consistent uh-huh. level. They go into that game with a chance to win. Whereas I think a a a a a level I was to say Arsenal and a Man United and the Spurs. Uh, okay, except for when Spurs plays plays uh, Man City, but but all the other games where the other the top three or they even say the, the the top three when they play against all those other teams, they almost kind of already go in that game already dominating from before even the game starts. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. But so so I don't think Chelsea go into into a game against Liverpool or Man City uh, feeling inferior because they actually do perform. At, at at a better level sometimes uh, than, than Man City and and and, uh, and Liverpool and some, and beat them you know um, mm. the last last two seasons with Tuchel especially so I think yeah, yeah but I, think... I mean I mean you're not wrong but I'm saying in terms of where say a Man City under Pep and Liverpool under Klopp right now they they're further along the line so you've you've got a very steady ship it's a bigger ship Chelsea have a quick nimble ship if you got to compare it to actual ships or whatever. Tuchel's there, but they got young players that are still adapting to what he's doing, still adapting. So they're getting there. They are getting there. But I mean, there's still a lot of chopping and changing. Once they can cement that sort of front three and how they're playing, mm. obviously now that they're in the latter sort of part of the season with your Havertz and your Pulisic and Mason Mount, the preferred three, now they are slightly getting there, but they're not in the same phase where Liverpool, it's Liverpool, Man, or Man City, Liverpool, it's Chelsea that are there and they're about to knock on the door. And then there's the others. And I think what's nice about where Arsenal is right now is if you've got to compare it to what Jason was saying, if you've got to compare where Arsenal, at least it looks like there's something happening there. There's a bit of a vision. They've got young players that are hungry and willing. And then there's United just waiting on their cash to bail them out. And then Spurs, who the hell knows what's happening with Spurs? And, you know, but you know what the funny thing is? Like what I saw... Um... I don't, I, I don't know. I wish I had more time. If anyone saw it, they must clear me up on this. I saw Arteta. No, he I had a... can, can we save this for Wanga's rent on Wanga's rent on Tuesday? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm just joking. You're going to tell everyone what's happening on Tuesday now. I think I'll on this Tuesday. Go ahead. Now, I haven't done it. I'm just saying that on Tuesday, we have a new segment called Wanga's rent, man, for five minutes. We can just rent about anything on the weekend that happened, man. Anything. <laughs> Anything can rent about rent about VR, can rent about Shaka uh, making a back pass, can rent about anything, can rent about Ramsdale, uh, I don't know, doing something funny, can rent about uh, anything, anything, anything. I look, I saw, I saw, um, it's not a yeah, I won't rant about, I can't rant about it because it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, I don't know the full situation. I tried to look, but I just didn't have time. It. Um, I saw Tito complaining about. It's like he was complaining about something about the, the way, the way, yeah, the way Arsenal's fixture yeah. list is. See, yes, it's kind uh, of the rents are coming. The rents are coming. But how? Look, I'm not. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know I don't know what what Wong is complaining about because Wonga doesn't play in Europe. So how can you say fixture pile up where you don't play in no. Europe? Wonga? That, that's what I'm saying. No, no, I'm not complaining. I saw Arteta complaining. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out what Arteta was complaining about. He was, he was, he was, and he was ranting about it. Like to be honest with you, he was saying that um, what I heard. He says, I don't know the full story, but it was like he, he was saying that the Premier League, um, um, the Premier, the Premier League. He he went and he complained to the Premier League, and he's happy that they're actually taking action against, um, against it now. Uh, but what the, what they were doing, it was unfair. And the comments were saying that he was complaining about the fixtures. And I don't know. I was like, there's no way. One player with COVID, and he got a whole game postponed. No, I think. But, I think not, not even that. But I think his complaint was the fact that you guys played on Sunday. Yeah, you guys played on Sunday against Leicester. Uh, Right, yeah, you guys played Sunday against Leicester, and then, and then you played Wen- and then you played Wednesday against Liverpool. I, I don't know. I, I, I can't. I can't see. Liverpool, for me, I, like Liverpool, genuine. Liverpool, like Liverpool we didn't. Play, we didn't play. Liverpool, the, we, played, Liverpool, we played. That's Liverpool, a whole Liverpool, week Liverpool break. Liverpool played, Liverpool, played Saturday, Liverpool played Saturday, and and then they played you guys Wednesday. So it was, he feel, I think he feels. I think he feels a whole week break. Guys, and I think he feels that you guys are not getting enough, enough, enough time to train. That's his excuse. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, take away, put put away the blame to say that you guys have lost, and then you know it's, it's tactics, guys. It's all old, old, old. Yeah, uh, old deflection. School. He's, he's deflection, trying to do what he can. Yeah, yeah. But no, no, no. But it was, one, but, one, but, one, one, but it was like this. Says Ryan, let's agree. Sam saying to Ryan, let's agree. Martinelli is too good to be at a club like Arsenal. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Sam! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's he gonna go? Can he play the Liverpool? Can he play the Man City? That's that's when you're looking above Arsenal. That's that's maybe where you, you you're going. I mean, I, I don't. 
Can you play this? Start. Okay, Barcelona, maybe, but uh, uh, Madrid. Vinicius, have you guys seen this? Yes. season at Arsenal before he does that. Yeah, I know. He needs to be, he needs know, to be injury free. He needs to be injury free. Guys, yeah. guys, you've seen this. Well, I've said it in the last show. I'm gonna, uh, and I don't, I don't want to be repeating this. You see these guys that leave when they think they're on top of the prowess. You saw Henri when he left Arsenal and what he did at Barcelona. You saw Van Persie he won, what he did at Arsenal he, he, before he, won, he left to go he won, to, to Man United. He won the Champions League at Barcelona. Uh, Van Persie won the Premier League at Man United. Nasri won the Premier League at, 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 at City. Sanya won the Premier League at City. Clichy won the Premier League at City. Uh, but that's what I'm saying, Martinelli. You guys tell me Martinelli has one one season left, one season before he can go to no, something else. No, no, we're saying he needs no. a good season. He needs we're a good season. season. He needs an injury-free season. That's what we mean. For that, for, for that, for that idea to be taken no, seriously. No, he needs an injury-free season. That's what we're saying. Yeah. Yeah, he we're needs saying. to play like 30 game, 30 Premier League games. Because he's so, yeah, been, he's, been saying, he's not ready. He's not ready and for those sides. He no, he's not ready for a new team. Saka, baby club. Saka's ready for a new uh, 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 another team. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You look, look at the players you guys named. Like the amount of goals they scored. Scored the 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 they were starting week in week out. Now they're starting week in week out. But look at Sterling. <laughs> Sterling left Liverpool at a young age. Yeah, but do you see what he did at Liverpool? That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, you see what he did yeah, at Liverpool? Sterling, yeah, yeah, but Sterling, Sterling kind of like... He couldn't finish. He couldn't finish. finish. Yeah. He couldn't finish. He's like, like Pep, Pep, Pep helped him and taught him how to finish. An mm -hmm. assist? What did you do with assists? What is Sterling doing with assist at Liverpool? I don't even know what he has to do. Oh, I, I think he was ravaging assists. If I remember correctly, it was always him, him, Suarez, and 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 what's his name up front. If it wasn't a direct assist, it was definitely um, the second pass before that. You know, <laughs> hey guys, hi guys. <laughs> I, think, I don't know, man. Like so what you say? So you're saying in one so, cup so, in one league? So and, are you saying are you saying that Saka? Is not I'm saying that it's not it's not a Sterling's level. No, 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 no. That's a that's a huge. Oh, I think he's still got a long way. Look, Sterling. Look, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a Sterling fan, but the, the guy's done a lot. Eh? Sterling's done a lot. You're talking about Liverpool, Claudio. That's what he did at Liverpool. Finished second in the, in the league. Uh, although he didn't make it. I mean, although he didn't win the league, but uh, Sterling's done a lot. He's done a lot, Claudio. He's won the Premier League. Yo, uh, you're comparing Monga, it to Saka. Monga, I just want to say, I know, I know this was scheduled for Tuesday, but Pum's already calling out. He's saying it's the Wonga rant now. It's the Wonga <laughs> rant. That's <laughs> that was, going on here. Yeah. Right. Let's, let's, let, let's give you the rant though, Wonga. They say now, Jason's saying, Abame Yang flying at Barcelona. Zavi saying, Ryan Paul saying, Zavi saying, about what Zavi called it a gift from above. Above me, yes, but, but you see, but Chavi, you see, but look, look at, look at, look at uh, Bomyang. Look how long he look. He's 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 had a good. He's had good seasons at uh, at his previous clubs. You know, he's played he's played good seasons uh, in 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 uh, in Germany for many years. He came to Arsenal and Arsenal he had very good seasons as well. You know, you know what you're getting. I'm just talking about. I'm just saying these players need to build more, much more consistency. I believe they should put much more consistency before they go out and take on a bigger club. They've got many years. I think another... Like Martinelli, he's been injured a lot. He had, when he came into Austin, he hit the ground running. And, and I like that about him. But I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be easy. I but mean, no, no, I don't he, even he think does. it's in the I head. No, but I do agree I with you. He hits the ground running, then he gets bored, and then he causes chaos. Um, Sam saying, let's have a vote. Who thinks that Arsenal will qualify for the Champions League next season? <laughs> Ryan's so, saying you killed Celo's camera there obviously uh, there's some dodgy <laughs> stuff happening so you didn't like what you were saying so you killed that um, but I, I do want to I want to comment on the, the sort of going back to the Arsenal-Liverpool game before we move on though Wonga when we're looking at it I think Sam's saying we missed Salah did we miss Salah and you know what is interesting about that was playing with the front three that we have when you got a player like Jota you don't have someone holding up the ball so we are then very direct we're looking for runs in behind we're looking for um, whatever, someone in the midfield to play that killer pass down the middle. So you got no one holding it. And that's why early in the second half, Liverpool decided, ah, no, Klopp, we're bringing on Firmino. We're making that change because then we can start get, getting the other players into play. And it just happened at the time that as Arsenal started getting confidence in that second half and starting to press, I mean, they did a very good job containing Liverpool to a certain extent in the first half. I think there was even a, a stage where they had 82% possession. 
But in the second half, obviously, tired legs started opening up, and that's when they found Jota, and Jota came straight off. And that was the difference, and that's where Liverpool right now, they don't have to be playing well, but you know, to your point, and what you said earlier, is there will always be a chance for Liverpool to score because of the players yeah. they have now. They've got different options, different types of players to come on. They've got many goal scorers as well, yeah. Yeah. No, so, no, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying Arsenal's killing players, Pooms. What I'm saying is that um, these guys need to, I'm not, and, and I'm not, I'm not against, um, I'm not against um, any player leaving Arsenal, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like, like I was, I agree with the, with the sort of Wenger's mentality is that if a guy wants to leave, he doesn't want to stay at the club, <laughs> why force him? You know what I mean? Rather let him go. And the thing, what I'm saying is that, but they need to choose the right time to go, you know, and, and also not even just the right time, also choose the right clubs to go to when they go, just not just go for the sake of leaving. Um, you saw Alexander Kleb, I would not lie to you, he was, he was an, a phenomenal player, um, but he went and he went to go compete with Xavi and Iniesta. That, that was, I, like, Xavi and Iniesta in Barcelona, in the home city, you know, um, in Catalonia, in the home, in the home, you know, like, you, you, for me, it's you to break that sort of thing. That wasn't obviously clear thinking there, you know. And his career went down from the uh, at Xavi. Nazi and them, yeah. I mean, he's he's had his own things. He was good enough. He went, like I say, Henri. The guys they, they stabilized themselves for the Arsenal before they they moved on. And I think you should do that, you know, before you move on to still, a, I, I, I a big. Still, I was still, I was still no, no, I'm just on, on, on Arsenal being a feeder club. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't no, worry. No, so Pums uh, asked if I... Said it's Wonga Rent. It's already come through. It's filtered through onto the Thursday. Oh, guys. Wow. Wonga Rent is starting on, are... on, the thir- on the Thursday now. <laughs> Pums is asking if, if I think Arsenal kill players. No, I don't... Like, come on, guys. I'm not even against uh, look, Arsenal. Look, I mean, Wonga, but Pums also anywhere. has said, and this is directed to Celo, and I suppose, quick, Celo doesn't have to put, give an explanation. just has to uh, answer the question. But Pums saying Arsenal finishing ahead of Manchester United at, at the end of the season. Cello, is yes, that happening? Yeah. Yeah. What? Arsenal ending ending ahead of Man United? Yeah, but yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, definitely. I think that that, that is 75% done. Yeah, 25% chance Man United. I think, yeah, Arsenal are in poor position. They have, uh, I think, more energy, more hunger. There's actually a willingness to actually succeed. Uh, yeah, man, winning five games in a row is not easy in the Premier League. Yes, they've lost. They yeah. lost yesterday. But winning five games in a row is quite nice, quite good for them. May United hasn't done that, I think, at all this season. So May United have moments. Moments FC, mm. two wins, last draw, two wins, last win, draw. You know what I mean? That's what May United's going to be doing. We can't. Do, we need to win consistently. Let's say four or five games. Yeah, I agree with that. Job. Right. Moving on, gents. Harry Kane, 178 goals. I think he surpassed Wayne Rooney. Frank Lampard's and Rooney. Is it Frank Ra- oh, Lampard it's, and Rooney? It's, no, it's Rooney's, it's, it's Rooney's record. Rooney, Rooney, it's Rooney's record of... Uh, not not record, I mean, sorry. He's a pass, he did it the quickest time. Let me say that as well. Uh, he, yeah, Wayne Rooney is, is a second. What do you think about that, Wonga? Harry Kane, 178 goals. Surely next season he can't stay there. We don't even know if Conte is going to be there. Apparently PSG are touting Conte to be the next manager. Hey, I mean, uh, uh, Harry Kane knows it. Um, people always said, oh, he wants to win something. <laughs> hey, um, age is not his on, on his side, you know. Um, uh, I think even, never mind age, I, oh, let me not even put age because that's, uh, I mean, like Ronaldo's about 37 now and I think Harry Kane, looking at him, he's also going to definitely uh, play for quite a while. Uh, but he was, um, if he's banging in those goals at, at a Man United, if he's banging those goals at a Man City, banging those goals at a, at a Liverpool, he's got something. He's going to have a cup. He's banging at Chelsea. He's going, he's going to have a cup, you know. But he's banging in those goals at, at Tottenham and there's nothing to show. All these years, there's no ways. There's no ways he, he stays. There's no ways. So then, Wong, um, where does he go? It's, it's a no-brainer. Time, time for him to move, but where does he go then, realistically? I mean, we do know the difference. And I know going back to the title race, I know the significance of Liverpool's win against Arsenal now was one point difference between them and Man City. The difference between the two sides, Liverpool have a whole bunch of goal scorers, a couple of contributions from different areas. We've got Man City, arguably, still leading the table without a sort of well-known okay. striker or a striker. So Man. we do know that they're going to look into the market again, but whether or not it's Holland who decides to go to Man City or it's a Harry Kane, what's the viable option for a Harry Kane? I think a Man City. 
All right, Jimmy, think of Man City, and I think Man City would take him. Uh, um, I land is going. I land is going there, guys. Even, um, even. Um, so if if Haaland goes there, the league's done then, or or is look, there still a? No, no. If he goes there, the league's done. I can't even lie to you. The way the guy's scoring is ridiculous. If you look at his goals, it's it's a goal per game in the Bundesliga. Goodness me, that's ridiculous. It's not even the Bundesliga he, and the Champions League. Everything he's played, he scored a, more than a goal per <laughs> a goal per game. And he's been injured for a while now, um, which is which is unfortunate. But he, I think he, he did play a couple of minutes. Um, I think last weekend. But if he if he goes to, I think if he goes to any team in the Premier, any any of those top four teams, maybe Arsenal would be a bit of a a bit of an ask. But if he goes to any of the top four teams, <laughs> did you just um, consider Arsenal in the bracket? Bro? What's wrong with you? Is guys not we are we're not top four. Are we not top four? Hey, he's guys. his first man. You think he's going to pull a Saul Campbell? Nah, man. Come on. After doing what he's done, it's... And also, no, no, no. Things. He's, he needs to go somewhere to win things. I know there's a question here saying Kane to you, Man United, but he's better off at staying at Spurs if that's a possibility. Right? I agree with you. But I think with the... With the if, if he's going to... He's going to try... If he, he wants a definite... Think about it, Kyle. He wants... He, he He's going to want something that's also definite as well. And I think he goes to City. He's de- they're definitely winning. They're definitely winning the league. You can't... You can't tell me anything. Passing from Kevin De Bruyne, or he's passing to goddamn Kevin De Bruyne, or he's ah, it's it's late, man, late, late, late. And City are not gonna. The thing about City is they 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 they'll get a Harry Kane. Oh yeah, but they're gonna spend quite a bit on him. Um, so maybe getting another player will be will be a bit dicey. But uh, yeah, I I think he goes there. And I think I think Man Man City moves on, man. Man City moves on, and they literally they go and say, "Cool guys, let's let's get early Highland." Uh, what am I hearing? What am I hearing also? It's Pereira, I'm telling you. I don't, know, I, I, I don't know. Is it me? Is it my side, guys? I, That's the real yeah, okay. It's Claudio. I don't know. Okay, guys, there's, there's a new feature here, yeah. gents. There's a new feature here. I'm testing it out. It's a like. If the guys in the comments are listening, if you like a backtrack while we're talking, let us know. If not, we'll kill this quickly. Just let us know. This guy, this guy thinks... Uh, Claudio thinks it's PlayStation, guys. He thinks it's PlayStation. Where people are going to be shazamming and say, Claudio, please shut up. We're going shazam to so- shazam the song in the background. Or you're going to be giving credit to, the- to at the end, then, uh, sounds by Claudio Barrero. Uh, <laughs> playlist. Find the playlist on the Go Lounge TV page. But I think, I think, I think Haaland will, 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 go, to, will go to Man City. Uh, Arsenal. It looks... It, 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 uh, <laughs> I'm going to just throw in Arsenal there. Uh, that's a funny one. Uh, but yeah, no, that's what was... I was saying. You said that just now. I was like, this man's not serious. He just got pumped by Liverpool yesterday. And it was comfortable for Liverpool. And now he's saying things like this. Udugaru took sense into him. Udugaru took sense into him. Uh, no, come, come, to no, come on, man. Come on. You will come to Arsenal. Tell him, hey, bro, look, this is like a Z. It's just like a Z, yeah. In Ketia, he's trying his thing. He's not happy. He'll go. Come here. Where are you going to start? Pep Guardiola will play Gundo one in your position, bro. Just because he feels like it. Don't waste your time, bro. Come here to Arsenal. Come here, come here, come here, come here. And we got Champions League this season. So, that's even better. You'll play every Champions League okay. match. All right. Guys, Hang on. But guys, guys, can, 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 ask, can, 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 Claudio, can you ask a, a question to the guys in the comments? Guys, no. do, you th- do you think is the, there's a correlation between Arsenal being in the top four and Wonga having a loud voice in the show? <laughs> What you saying? It's like it's like if you got to graph it out, Celo. How you yeah, graph it's like, So 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 yeah. So this so it's like that, guys, right? And 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 this is so this is this axis, right? Is Arsenal's performance, right? Is Arsenal's performance in the league, right? So if Arsenal is higher up, up right, then then this is Wanga's voice, right? This is Wanga's volume. So now. Arsenal <laughs> is in the top four, right? What happens is then there's like there's like just you know it's a correlation, guys. It's just a correlation, guys. It's just it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's like, it's like, saying, it's like is carrying Arsenal. It is. It's yeah, like, it's, like, right. it's like it's like Nick, it's like Nick, Nick in Newcastle, you know, having a voice all of a sudden with the takeover. So I think Wonga's the same, guys. Top four and Wonga's the same as Nick. <laughs> Wait till we touch that league title. Yay! You uh, Wanga, you're not gonna like yeah, this. You're not gonna like this. Sam saying next year teams qualifying from group stage in Champions League shall be hoping to get Arsenal just like the big teams wanted Leon this time. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see about that. We'll get clapped. 
Get clapped. <laughs> Come in the Champions League. That's all you have to do. They'll get clapped. Uh, all right. Well, but, go, let's go, not... we, oh yeah, we'll be seated differently. I wonder how we'll be seated this time. Yo, after so many years not being there. Co- coefficients, yeah. Coefficients. All right, gentlemen, we're going to move on from the Harry Kane thing because we couldn't come to a real sort of conversation because Arsenal got thrown into the mix. Good job, Bongo. You're becoming like a real Man United fan, making it all about all... Matt would say probably Liverpool fan, making it all about Liverpool. But let's go. Everton versus Newcastle tonight. Big, big game. I think I think Carragher's come out saying... Massive. quoted saying it's the biggest game in Everton's last 20 years or something in terms of this game tonight. It's probably correct. It's probably yeah. correct. This is... Uh, this is... This could be deciding Everton's. It's obviously yeah, it's gonna okay. yeah future. This is they they're gonna go in there yeah, and and Newcastle already they've already Newcastle. You've ever seen what Newcastle's done the winning streak? And I mean, at Chelsea you're gonna say it's almost the same thing like with with an Arsenal. You're like okay yeah, it's it's Chelsea cool. They got the but then they were hard done by Chelsea. To be fair, it would have been the penalty and the and them scoring and it would have been a draw. And if that happened, oh, I think I would have said it's late for it's late for Everton. <laughs> it's just late for them. Because Newcastle are flying now. They're flying. Um, I, I can't see Everton winning this, to be honest with you. I can't see Everton winning this. Yeah, and I know they're playing at home, but I can't see it. And, and, and Everton, and Everton, Everton has games in hand on, on the teams around them. Uh, yes. They've played 26 games, whereas mm-hmm. Watford played 29. They, they and Watford on the same amount of points. So Everton guys need to win one of their next two games or their three uh, games in hand. One of them, they need to win. They can't buy a win right now. I think... Lampard chose the wrong project. Uh, if I was Lampard, I wouldn't have went to Everton. I would have just uh, just looked aside and said, "No, guys, I'm just busy. Um, I'm still trying to think about my life. I'm trying to think about my life." But an actual, yeah. but, but an actual thing to like. I'm not going. To I'm not going to relegation <laughs> battle. I'm not going to relegation battle. I, I just thought this base. Refers, this? Refers, refers, refers this base. I'm going to be just taking over refers base. You know I mean? But I said this, gents. I said Lampard's walking into this job is going to get relegated. I said this job, this is a, this is a chacharach job, this one. I mean, Pum's saying Everton can die a real death here. Also, Lampard has to do something. Also, Sam, Lampard has to do what? What has Lampard done? Explain that to me, that he has to do something. Do you know what I mean? This, this club was already a mess, and I was coming to a situation, and he's going to do something, clean up a mess. And where has he ever cleaned anything up? He's, he's been in a situation where he was a winner, Surrounded by winners, and now he's got to try and get losers to be winners. Explain that. That's that's a difficult thing for someone to clean. You need that's one a, of those. A, 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 what kind a, of cloth huge, do you need to clean that? You need some. That's, that's, I don't know. That's, Andy, a huge, Andy that's, there. A, that's a that's a huge switch up for you guys. I think Lampard guys is a. I don't know, man. He 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 went to what? He had, he had, he had a derby team. Uh, got to the playoffs. Didn't qualify for the Premier League. He then went to man. Uh, went to Chelsea. Got uh, what there was a transfer ban and he could use the younger players. So at least at, at a Chelsea, the really the structures are there. But guys, Everton is a mess. Um, you don't really know you don't know if they're coming or going. And Rafa has put them in this position. Also, Rafa was just <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong appointment. Uh, was he in the was he wrong or was he right? Was he the right appointment? He was undercover agent that one. <laughs> but, but you don't like him. But you don't like him. So I don't understand what you're saying. I don't like him, but I like what he did at Everton. That will put going down in history books, for my, in my opinion. There, but Everton, Newcastle, gents. So Wonga, you're already coming out full out saying Everton are done. They're not going to win this one. So, what do you think is going to happen, guys? I think it's going to be. Uh, listen, uh, guys, as an institution, I want in Everton to remain the Premier League, right? I think the teams that we have in the relegation zone right now are the perfect ones to go down. We are happy with the combination. Burnley's there. Watford that fires managers is there and Norwich is there. We are happy with the combination yes. right now. And I we agree. And, let's, and let Everton, Everton have good players, quality players, uh, just a bit unfortunate with some injuries as well. I think Everton needs to be in the Premier League. We need a Merseyside derby. Imagine we have no Merseyside derby next season, guys. So we need Everton. But to be Premier fair, League. it hasn't been exciting for I don't know how many years. So maybe they need to but go they down. Beat you, to but they beat you last season. They beat you last season at Anfield. But it wasn't exciting. Anfield. Was it exciting? Yeah. It was. It was exciting. It was exciting. It was exciting. Yeah. I mean, what? That's one out of how many years? Out of how many years? 20 years they beat us once, sure. Yeah, you remember yeah, the one yeah, time they beat yeah. us? That, that's what yeah. all the losers so, say. Yeah. Remember the one no, time no, they won? No, fair, fair, yeah, fair, fair. Fun. No, but, but, but as, as, as I said, I think we need an Everton, uh, an institution like Everton in the Premier League. I think Everton, Everton and Arsenal are the two teams that have never been relegated. Uh, every other team has been relegated. So we need them to, to remain in the Premier League. Uh, uh, so then I think it's, but then I think it's going to be a draw. You see, Sam's I'm saying Everton are going to stay in the Premier League. They have enough talent. It's not talent. Talent's not the problem, though. Talent isn't the problem with Everton. 
It's the soft it's, underbelly. The soft underbelly, man. They don't have they don't have some some crafters in them, man. They've need some. They need duck they they've, got, to... they've got one. They've got. Well, I think Decor is a grafter, but I don't know what what he's been doing. Alan, 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 Alan is good. Alan is also. also good. Alan, Alan is a yeah, grafter. Yeah, those three. But the others. Yeah, Richarlison uh, is a grafter. Guys, the, guys, the worst defender, guys. Let's 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 agree, guys. I think the worst defender in the Premier League, guys, is is, is Michael Keane. Michael Keane, guys. That that against against Man City. How did that guy, powder puff, clear that sh- that, that 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 ball? And he just literally touched it, and then it went to fold him, guys. And then he made this another mistake. Happens. And he made but another when mistake, you, guys. When you're under Sean Dyche's academy, this is what happens. And then you go to a team that wants to try to play football, you get exposed. Shut this up, is guys. Exactly that, what that, happens. I think I think Michael Key is the worst defender in the Premier League, guys. I, I think that's that, that thing that's officially on the show. I think if anyone in the comments can tell me who's a who's a worst centre back, maybe. Uh, Sally Sue from Southampton makes also more mistakes, but I think it's my choir. There we go, no, no. <laughs> okay. it's my choir. Fuck off, sir. Fuck off, sir. It's not Maguire, man. Maguire is better than Barry Keane. Come on, Sam. Sam, be honest. You know, Sam. Sam, Sam, in your heart of hearts, in your heart of your hearts, you know that Maguire is better than Keane. I know Maguire is worse than that. But Keane, guys, no ways, guys. Keane is poor, poor, poor. Okay, so wait. Pumza said 4-3 tonight to Everton. So according to that, you want to watch tonight's game? I don't know. I mean, Newcastle, surely Newcastle don't lose back to back after that performance against no, no, Chelsea. No. They get something here. There's no well, I can see all the Evertonians there having paraffin ready to light the stadium on fire if they don't get the result tonight, though. At home. Yeah. Yeah, but it's really tough, guys. Eh? I think. Mongo, I think... You, are you playing drums there? What's going on? It's me. It's not me. Oh, it's Silo, me. Silo's playing drums. It's me. It's me. It's me. Keen 2.0. Uh, so Maguire is the worst. Boom saying Maguire is the worst. Keen 2.0. Okay, no, gents. Cool. 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 So, wait. Final prediction there, Wongo. What's happening tonight? Everton. I said 1 1. I, I say 1. I say 1 0. No. It'll be tough, but I think if, uh, Newcastle will take this. I think 1 1 is a good fair result. I'm also going to go draw. It's maybe 2 2. That's what I'll go with. I don't see Everton winning at all. Right, gents. Aston Villa, Arsenal, because it is the weekend. It is a Premier League game before we touch on the sort of FA Cup games. I mean, is this the, the moment for Coutinho to convince the Arsenal board to throw whatever they can at him to come to Arsenal? Or is Arsenal going to bounce back from their victory? Mm-hmm. Off from their loss, sorry. Uh, look, of I th- course, victory. look, I think... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a very... I think it's going to be a very open game. Um, and you can, obviously, yeah, Stephen Joe is going to bring it to them. He's going he's gonna, to... Stephen Joe will definitely try to win this game. I'm um, not going to be two ways about it. Philip Continue will be a threat. That's for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, we saw him at Liverpool when he was main man and I see him at Aston Villa. Get him in your, him like in your fantasy team, guys. Get him in your fantasy team. Right? Yeah. He's in my uh, No, not this game. Not this game. Not this game. He'll be a threat, but... Uh, <laughs> he'll be contained. He'll be contained. <laughs> he'll be a threat, but uh, he'll be oh, contained. Damn, guys. Not this game. Uh, yeah, we just yeah, we can't give him that right foot. Rather put everything on his left foot. Uh, not that right foot. Rather he pass the ball than then uh, lace up a shot. I uh, don't want to see that happen. Uh, but yeah, I think I think Arsenal has what it takes to to beat them. And I think result wise, I would say Arsenal take a two 0 I say Arsenal take a two 0 Two 0 settle. If uh, yeah, I think I think it's going to be a, a one. Uh, it's a lot of draws this weekend, guys. One 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 between between them. Arsenal don't draw. Sam saying Aston Villa to win. They are good. Cash awesome. in form. Coutinho in form. Dinia is injured, I believe. Mm, that's a big one. Where's Nevada for this one? It's, it's his time to come in here and chirp you. Uh, Vod's, 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 yeah, because Vod's, he knows. He knows. Vod's is quiet, man. Otherwise, <laughs> Vod's, Vod's could, have, could have been here telling, telling, telling Wango off, man. Because <laughs> he knows. Ryan, he knows. He knows. Ryan saying Arsenal's midfield uh, show up. Then it's no contest for, for the weekend. Arsenal killing Villa here, Pums is saying. So, yeah. yeah. Villa haven't been looking too good, to be honest. They've been leaking goals, I think. I but think they won the last two, didn't they? They won the yeah, last they, two. They're conceding, and I think it's who they're playing. I don't know. Let's let's check who they... Oh, they lost, they lost their last game, and then they won the previous one. Didn't they? They lost to West Ham, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah they it lost. The, they lost, and then they won. I mean, See, yeah, and they played away. Lost. But this time they're going to be hosting. But I still no, think but they, they but, but they won three games in a row and then they lost the last one. Not too bad. 
Yeah, but now they're playing Arsenal, so we'd like to think uh, Arsenal should do something. I say I'm going to say two one victory to Arsenal there. Ha! No uh, ways. You said it, Clara. Oh, okay, yeah, I okay, said okay. it. I said it. Oh, after you said this before, it wasn't the worst performance. I think it's promising. A promising situation to be in if you're an Arsenal fan. I think. I think it's not going to be as entertaining for neutrals to go to Arsenal fan TV anymore. That's what I think, and that's disappointing. <laughs> but right, it's FA Cup. It is FA Cup this weekend. There are a couple of sides left. Chelsea, in terms of the bigger sides, we've got Chelsea that are playing Middlesbrough. We got Crystal Palace taking on Everton, which I think is going to be a huge distraction for Everton. They should just they should play the under 16s for this one. Then yeah, I think FA Cup, yeah, FA Cup. I think it's Southampton versus Man City. That's obviously Man City being favourites in this game, and then Nottingham Forest, Liverpool. So technically, in terms of the big names, you have got Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool, and then I would say Crystal Palace over the Everton. Obviously, this, anything this, can happen. This, this is the quarterfinals, then. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Out of the teams left over, I know we, we asked the question in terms of Champions League, but who are your favourites here for the FA Cup? Uh, Pal- Palace. <laughs> this guy. He's a sour Man United fan. Wonga, who's, who's your favourite? Come on, guys. Not can, can, Pal- guys, can Palace not win the, can, guys, can Palace not win the FA Cup? I mean, they can, <laughs> but are they your favourites? Favourites? <laughs> No, Man City are my favourites for, 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 for the FA Cup. But are they though? Yes. Are, should, but should they be your favourites? Because what I'm saying is they're focusing now on, on the league title. Fo- are we all the what did you say, Claudio? No, no, no. I'm not saying. He's coercing us to say no goal. I'm not coercing us. I'm saying. Like, so I gave two it. options. And he's asking. But I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about it. They've got, they've got Champions League's priority for them, right? Right? Right. True. Yeah, that's the because they haven't and Pep is hundred percent he wants it for City. They've got I league league title now. Some they got Liverpool breathing down their back. Also, argue in terms of where momentum lying lying. I didn't ask you guys there. Do you think Man City are going to carry this this league title still across the line? It's going to come down to the game, I think, where they face each other. But do who are you backing in this race? When they face each other, Man City. They're playing it soon. It's, if it's not. This week, I think it's, it's the week it's after. One game, it's one game, and then the next after, one. After, inter- after, inter- after international break, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then the, so Liverpool play so. Watford, and then they play City. Yeah. City play Burnley, and then Liverpool. So so you backing Man City, Wonga? Silo? Yes. I, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> All right, Silo so doesn't care. So, but with FA Cup wise, you're still saying City, Silo? Oh, no, FA Cup, uh, I'm, 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 I'm saying, uh, actually, I'm saying Chelsea, actually, if I'm being honest. Chelsea. Oh, true, yeah. yes. That, that, that makes, bro. If, that I'm makes honest, sense. if I'm being honest, I'm saying Chelsea, actually. Yeah, I can see Tuchel doing that, definitely. Mm, also, yeah, yeah, Sam saying, Cloud, you're silently thinking of the triple. Not so silent, Sam. It's not so silent. What did I say on Tuchel? Yeah, it's not yeah, silent what did I say? It's not silent. He, he said quadruple. <laughs> He said quadruple, no, I, I never sir. said quad. I've he never said quadruple, said quadruple guys. Quadruple. Guys, I, go back to, uh, said, guys, go back. Guys, go yeah. back to the last show, guys. I hosted Dude. that show. I know he said. I said I, talk is quadruple. I said me personally triple. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> quadruple. And re- and reality is. Nah. What? what are you saying the one the baby cup that that Pums keeps saying baby cup? No, 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 no. Well, we currently have one. That's more than both of you. So that's fine. I'll take baby cup. City, City will have some mm-hmm. doubts for sure. Don't know if it affects them though. Sam saying he goes with Celo. Hmm. Yeah, okay, with, so, with Chelsea. With Chelsea. With Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. All right, so quick, quick mm, predictions okay. then. Quick predictions. Chelsea Middlesbrough. Quick fire, Wonga. 2-0 to Chelsea. Celo. Uh, 3-0 to Chelsea. Yeah, it's going to be a walk walk in the park. I'd say even 4-0. Maybe Lukaku oh, comes United to the bench and actually scores. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man United said that. Man United said that. Man United Man, that's, all wrong, <laughs> that's different. We'll have a decent referee in this game. Uh, Sam uh, saying, "Yeah, yeah, there we go. Thank you, thank you, Ryan. I think he said triple. Ryan's listening, gents. This is no, Ryan, like is, Ryan. Ryan. Ryan is new at the show. He's just trying to get favor with Claudio. Come on. No, no, no. Ryan knows what he's saying. <laughs> and then we got we got Crystal Palace versus Everton. Yeah, Wonga uh, Palace. 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 Um, this game, guys. Everton yeah, but no Palace, right. yeah, Palace, 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 4-1. Everton have no right to feel a, a, a strong team for this. 4-1. Claudio, what's happening? Claudio froze. He's doing it on purpose, okay. or he froze. Nah, he froze, froze this yellow. Can you so control can that thing? Good. Yeah, I can. I can control. Uh, so what do you say? 1-4-1 to Palace. Okay, I say... Yeah, I say 4-1. I say 3-1 to Palace. Let me... Uh, where is this guy? He's still frozen. 
Uh, and then, and then, what do you think about the South, Southampton versus Man City? It's a funny one because Southampton. I know it's quick fire, sorry, but Southampton. I know they always they they have given Man City trouble in the past um, mm. with some things, and 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 Southampton haven't been on a good run of form. And I think now they can, you know, they've got the opportunity to push up against Man City. Now. And Man City now have also got, you know, the league to worry about, Champions League to worry about. But I still think they'll pull through. I'll say a 2-0 to Man City. I don't think it'll be a complete jobbing, but I think they'll win a 2-0. Because a 2-0 to Man City. Uh, I, mm. think, I, think the, I think that one's going to be a, a 2-1 to Man City. Uh, yeah, 2-1 to Man City is going to be interesting because the mm. last game that they played, they... Drew. Wait, Southampton beat them with a drew. They drew. They drew that game against against Southampton the last game. Yeah, so it'll be quite sure. interesting. Uh, Claudio, what do you think with with uh, with Southampton versus Man City? <laughs> hmm, Southampton upset. Let's do it. Come on, Southampton. Now, nah, I think it's, uh, Man it's City. Possible. Nah, it's possible. Yeah, target target to nice free kick there. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Targets at Newcastle. No, no, I'm joking. Just okay. Uh, what pros? Ward Prowse is the Ward one Prowse, I'm here. Yes. That's the last thing about. No, no, oh, yeah, that's the thing they have. Yeah. Wonga. But guys, Wonga said 4-1 to, to, to Palace against Everton. Eh? So I think that's why that's why Sam was shocked there. But that's all good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, Sam, 3-1, guys. Guys, 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 you, you, you guys don't even know. Like, Everton has no right to be in the FA Cup, guys. They've got more yes, they can't feel that. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, they can't even yeah, focus. They yeah. shouldn't focus on it. Sorry, go. Sorry, we, we didn't get your prediction, but I said three one. Wonga said four one uh, to Palace. Palace. Yeah, I don't know. No. You see, it all depends. It all depends on what happens tonight, I think. But they should be playing under 16 regardless. I, they, they must walk yeah. out of that competition. They must roll over and say, here's your, your t- cup. We give. Although I was thinking, maybe even Portsmouth vibes. Watch them win the FA Cup Everton and then still really get it. Or, or Wigan. Or Wigan, or Wigan yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it really good. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Let's see what what. Uh... Okay, no. All oh, right, is thank you, Ryan. We try. We try. We try. We try. Work under under pressure. It's, 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 it's South Africa. You have to be ready. You have to be ready, guys. It's South Africa. You have to be ready, guys. Uh, the last game. The last game in the FA Cup, guys. Forest versus Liverpool. I. Yeah, is this on Sunday? Neil to Nottingham. What is this? Is it on Sunday, Claudio? Yep, Sunday. I wanted, to watch, I wanted to watch uh, James Garner. You must watch him in the midfield. Manchester United Academy uh, product who's on loan there. Uh, what do you think, Wonga? Nah, it's going to be 5 0 to Liverpool. They did They did knock out Arsenal. Do you remember that, right? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Fi- oh, they did knock out Arsenal. Hey, yeah, yeah. That means nothing. That, what, that was <laughs> yeah, a warm up. They, 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 they knocked out Arsenal and they knocked out Arsenal and Leicester, guys. So you're saying Forest are going to be Yo. a tougher, tougher composition uh, opposition than what one one nil to Liverpool. Arsenal were yesterday. 100%. One nil to Liverpool. No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to so, say t- Minamino, Minamino, Minamino hat trick. He's going to score three goals on Sunday. Ah, <laughs> please. Tucky, Tucky scores in the cups. You'll see, gents. You, you think I'm joking? Uh, you think I, no, I think, no, no. Watch, let's score. Watch. I think I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a draw, guys, and it's gonna to go to penalty shootout. <laughs> what are you smoking? Just the way. Is that is that a real yes, prediction? Yeah, or are you smoking something? <laughs> yeah, it's a real prediction, guys. It's the FA Cup. Penalties. FA Cup. FA Cup. No, 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 gents. No, you're playing games against. No, 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 no. no. Wait, but no. you guys are gonna. You guys know the. Big he's, he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna change it around. Origi's gonna say hello. Taki Minamino's gonna come in there. Score his hat trick. Elliot's gonna be bossing them. Gents, we'll be fine. There's our second players. They're gonna come and they're gonna do the business. You're gonna. You're gonna see. <laughs> oh, that, oh, Claudio. Oh, wait, let's, just the, let's just watch the game. Let's just watch the game. Let's watch the game. Let's watch the game. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, final, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Wonga, what's your final thoughts? Not not your rent. Your rent is, is on Tuesdays, but yeah, look, I think I think I think Arsenal's on a good trajectory. Still happy with that. Yes, Ramsdale could have done better in that match. Uh well that that shot. But yeah, I think I mean the if I just look at the whole season um accumulatively, then I think that no, I think Arsenal's on a good run. Considering the way we started the season. Okay. I think it's I think Arsenal's done well to turn it around. I see you. I see you. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's 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 at least wasn't a rant, but yeah. 
because you guys have been doing well. I thought you, your, your, side, your, your side was what your final I, I think I think from my side, I'm going to say it again. Treble, watch the treble, it's coming. But then also, I just want to say to everyone who's joined us in the comments, thank you for being consistent. You have joined us from Tuesday. You followed through here yet again. You're really making this uh, this gang grow, and we enjoy we enjoy your company. So thanks for the comments and keep them coming. Celo? No, no, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, great show as usual. Let's let's have a good weekend. It's a, it's a long weekend in, in, in South Africa. So yeah, guys, please be safe on the roads and enjoy and enjoy the long yeah. weekend. And, yeah, and we'll come back on, on, on Tuesday and uh, we'll start the show with Wonga's rant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan, tell them. Ryan, look at you, Ryan's even saying that. Let up on Wonga. You see, he knows. Uh, Ryan, tell these guys. <laughs> oh, Pums, well. Pums saying Liverpool will only have the baby cup this season. There's a thing about the baby cup, Pums. You've still got to be mature enough to, to handle the baby. Yeah. So maybe the other teams aren't that mature yet to have a baby in their, in their sort of cabinet. So just take it easy there with the baby cup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fair that's fair that's fair that's fair no but but no thanks yeah thanks again guys uh sam pooms uh ryan jason uh louis who J else was there yeah that's that's sam, about the team sam yeah, pooms sam ryan pooms, uh, what's yeah. jason jason popped in there i saw jason, yeah, popped, jason in there. popped in as well yeah, yeah. thanks jason a lot, guys. for business Thanks a lot, and also, yeah. business to say that. What, what do you think about Sam there? Sam's jumping the gun here, but I think he's got the wrong day, Salo. Do you want to inform him? He yeah, said it on purpose. That, that, that's on Tuesday, <laughs> Sam. But yeah, I know what you mean, Sam. On a Thursday, we say one thing, guys. One, two, three. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it.